हेलो गाइज आई एम डॉक्टर अलीशा एंड आई एम एम डी पीडियाट्रिक्स फ्रॉम पी जी आई चंडीगढ़ एंड आई एम हेयर टू लर्न एंड टीच फ्रॉम यू गाइज द नॉलेज एंड इन्फॉर्मेशन दैट आई हैव गैदर रिगार्डिंग द सुपर स्पेशलिटी एग्जामिनेशन आफ्टर पीडियाट्रिक्स इन कोलेबोरेशन विद द फैमिली ऑफ प्रेपलाइडर सो जस्ट लाइक यू गाइज आई ऑल्सो सैट फॉर द आई एन आई एस एस एग्जामिनेशन अ मंथ बैक एंड इन दैट आई रोड पीडियाट्रिक गैस्ट्रो एंट्रोलॉजी एग्जामिनेशन एंड आई सिक्योर द सेकेंड रैंक इन दैट and subsequently i also appeared for the neat ss examination in pediatrics and today i want to discuss my conclusions that i made after going through all the questions making a recall and turning pages of nelson and finding out from where all the questions asked in this neat ss examination were there so uh, in the next 5 to 10 minutes i'm going to tell you the information and knowledge that i have gathered regarding this neat ss examination and answer one big question for all of us that whether nelson is enough for neat ss examination and what else do we need to read for neat ss so uh, for the purpose of this video i'm going to divide pediatrics into general pediatrics neonatology and systemic pediatrics starting from general pediatrics so uh, the growth part it's given nicely in op gai so that is enough uh, but in addition for the nutrition part so we can go through nelson and in addition we have to know the latest targets and indicators that have been given by the government also the vitamins and minerals are nicely given in nelson and um, in addition if we want to go through the sam part we can go through it from either nelson or op gai uh after that uh, uh, talking about immunization so immunization is also given nicely in op gai relevant to us but that is not enough we have to additionally go through uh, the latest iap guidelines the latest vaccines available the names of those vaccines also uh, in this pandemic era about the covid vaccines we should know and um, and the latest missions that are there regarding immunization like mission indradhanush and mission indradhanush 2.2 oh these would be important then uh, talking about development development we can go through tables given in nelson uh, they have been asked repeatedly and behavior and child psychology part also was asked from nelson itself so in the behavior and child psychology part the questions are usually scenario based and not uh, uh, they are not directly asked from the tables but they are scenario based questions okay next i would like to talk to you guys about um, the neonatology part so neonatology part majority of the questions were asked directly from nelson but all the questions from were not directly from nelson so there were some questions that were asked from plohati as well and that are not covered in nelson so um, for the important topics in neonatology at least we should go through plohati as well although uh, important topics need to be covered and uh, it doesn't have to be read from the first to the last word coming over to systemic pediatrics so i'll start the discussion from cardiology so in cardiology uh, i think it's a myth that we need to go through parks cardiology also because in this neat ss examination at least all the questions from cardiology were direct lines and table pickups and photographs from nelson itself and it's given nicely nelson and that should be enough uh next coming over to pulmonology so pulmonology also uh, nelson is enough although it may need to be supplemented by the latest guidelines like the gina guidelines uh next talking about uh, infectious disease unit so infectious disease is a big unit and to cover it from any book becomes a little difficult but the important topics in it would be uh, hiv and tb and the, the questions asked from these topics in the examination are something which are not there in uh, any uh, standard textbook because they would be the latest updates and like the ntep program the naco guidelines what are the additions what are the latest technologies added in the ntep that could be asked so that needs to be read from there also two other important infections overlapping with the uh, gastroenterology part would be hepatitis b and hepatitis c especially the perinatal uh, both of these diseases the transmission and how to diagnose that part is very very important uh, other than that for infectious disease we uh, another important topic would be antibacterials and antifungals that should be read from nelson the other common infections can be read from nelson itself or from op gai 
yeah next talking about hepatology and gastroenterology only so uh, it is given nicely in nelson but in this exam all the questions from hepatology and gastroenterology were not covered from nelson we may additionally go to the iap textbook and the other questions from hepatitis c and hepatitis b were also not entirely from nelson so we might need to go through some latest updates and guidelines and also from some other textbook or probably iap textbook then the critical care part so the critical care part the fluid and electrolytes all of that is given nicely in nelson and we have to go through it but in addition what is very very important is to go through pals and every step of pals uh, the guideline that is given even the doses is part is very important for cardio version for edemos and they were asked and also the septic shock part for uh, is very important uh, here i would also want to emphasize going back to neonatology not just pals but the nals and nrp guideline is very 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 important questions are always asked from pals and nals so that also needs to be covered uh yeah here i would want to give you an additional small um, piece of advice if you want to take it that uh, um, many questions in these examinations are being asked from ventilation especially the uh, graphics of ventilator and how to diagnose things like air leak and air trapping from uh, the graphics of ventilator and these things are not given in nelson and uh, if you want to know more about these you can go through um uh, a uh, videos in youtube under the name of little criticos and these videos have been made by our senior at pgi and uh, he used to teach us ventilation here subsequently was kind enough to make videos and they are freely available on youtube under the name of little criticos so if you want to go through those they could be really helpful not just for examination but also for your clinical practice yeah talking next about hematology so this unit although is given very nicely in nelson but doesn't prove to be enough because many questions from oncology were not directly asked from nelson and uh, for this part i would like to advise that the prep ladder videos from oncology they would cover everything you need to know uh, starting from the disease the treatment and also the oncological emergencies which were repeatedly asked in this examination otherwise uh, if we have to supplement nelson we have to go through some standard another textbook which becomes difficult at post uh, graduation level so i think prep ladder videos are really helpful the ones made by dr sandeep sharma yeah so next talking about rheumatology and uh, endocrinology together so under these units questions are asked and they are usually asked from nelson itself because it's nicely given and usually covers all the questions asked and highlighting at this point of time the tables given in nelson and the line to line not just tables line to line direct pickups are there and the photographs the photographs in nelson similar photograph is shown and as what is the view and what is the procedure so all of those are direct pick up in this examination from endocrinology a genes name was asked which is given only in a table in nelson and not given in text so reading tables is extremely important that should not be missed next talking about nephrology so nephrology is also covered from nelson itself but we can we should go through bagga guidelines or additional latest guidelines for nephrology as well okay so that brings me to genetics and metabolic unit again should be read from nelson the common syndromes and extended common syndromes not so common syndromes are also asked especially the allergy syndrome which was asked again and again okay next coming to the neurology part so neurology uh, i think my advice here would not be enough because questions were asked from nelson but they were indirectly asked and should we go through whole another textbook for neurology i don't think i can answer this question at this point of time so i think i've covered all the um, specialty units okay some two extra edge points which i would want to emphasize is uh, the questions are asked from peds ortho and derma as well so peds ortho i mean to say questions from club for ddh are asked and it becomes although these are very common diseases but they are often missed while reading and again here we can use the prep ladder videos they would be very very helpful
okay the image based questions emphasizing again ct mri chest x rays and the procedural all these questions especially from neonatology part cardiology part neurology part are very important for neat ss examination so i think i've discussed everything so coming back to my question so is nelson enough for neat ss i think nelson is asked in such a beautiful way in neat ss um, neat ss does 100% justice to asking nelson but it also asks some other questions from us which are not covered in nelson and that would be specifically to to the latest updates and guidelines especially of the common diseases the common vaccines the newly added vaccines the growth indicators the mortality indicators the mortality numbers and uh, uh, so pals and nals also so all of that part also needs to be read along with the um, nelson yeah i think uh, that would be enough for this video and i hope that uh, this piece of information was useful thank you